So if you're visiting uh, Marbella this uh, summer, you might think that you could uh, get in a, a trip to Abrique, which is this leatherwork capital. Uh, you've probably seen it on other other videos on on YouTube. Uh, to get there from Marbella is quite a chore, though. It takes about two hours down some very narrow roads, like A roads in the UK. Um, it's a bit of a trek to get there. Once you're there, um, Abrique is the size of a village or or a small town. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of places that are associated with leather. Some of those are workshops and manufacturing shops. And the main road that goes east to west on here is the Avenida Dr. Solis Pascale. That's where you'll find some leather shops. And they'll be selling uh, bags and belts and cases and purses and other bits and pieces. So this is that road. Uh, we got there early thinking that, you know, it'd be a nice thing to get there early. The shops don't actually open till about 10 o'clock. So along that that road and off some of the back streets, you'll find places that sell bags and belts and um, other uh, leather articles. Um, but interestingly, you're not going to find anything luxury um, with a luxury name on it. I'm in a place called Ubrique today, which is about two hours north of Marbella. To get here, you have to go down loads of little A roads. It's quite a pain to get here. Ubrique is the centre of artisan leatherwork in Spain. And the French luxury houses, LVMH and Kering, uh, they contract out some of their work here. I uh, thought I'd come along just to see what it was like. You know, you have an expectation of what you might be able to get here. There's no luxury shops here, none at all. And uh, there's no leakage of any of that uh, high-end contract work, obviously, if you think about it. Like, if you're involved in manufacturing um, for Kering and LVMH, you're not gonna ruin that contract by doing what happens in other parts of the world. What there are, are there some uh, really nice uh, leather shops, um, but it's all brands that you've not heard of or it's all unbranded, uh, but the quality is fantastic. Um, I picked up a belt and I picked up a bag and you could get here um, a bag that would cost in London maybe 500, 600 quid. You could get here for like 200 quid, but it's not branded. Um, good stuff though, an interesting place. They obviously are very protective of their work. Anyway, see you soon. But that's not to say there aren't other places in Spain where you can find homages uh, to some of their more famous bags. So you probably know what this is. It's a, it's an Hermes uh, Birkin bag. Really nice quality one. Um, manufactured or, or fabricated in uh, in Spain, but it just wasn't from a brique. Um, so yeah, so they are out there, but you just need to go and take a look really. Anyway, I hope that you found that interesting. Any questions, uh, just ping me below. Cheers. Bye.